Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hey everybody, the old captain here, and as you can see, we're on the road again. I don't know the lyrics to that fucking song. I know on the road again. I, I do have that. I do remember that. No, watch. Oh, and by the way, everyone, oh, dude, clear, you look like shit. Yeah, I know. Just woke up. I just woke up. <clears throat> I look uglier than I normally do. We have a video request, and as you. No, if you have a question, no matter what, as long as it's legal for me to answer it, I will answer it as long as you pay. I have a short one. Hey, asswipe, do a video about Back to the Future 2 and why we don't have flying cars now because we live in a leftist socialist shithole. Is that worth 200 No, it isn't. And it's not even worth the 100 I charged you. Uh, that, uh, here's the lesson, guys. People have paid me. <clears throat> They've just paid me. And uh, I, I didn't even give them a quote. I would have only charged maybe 25 bucks, 30 bucks for this video, but he paid me a hundred. I'm like, eh, give me a hundred. So I will fuck you over, because I am an asshole. So follow the rules. Go to assholeconsulting.com, go through the instructions, or an asshole might just fuck you out of some more money. Anyway, um, even more funny, the date that they went uh, to uh, into went to in the movie Back to the Future 2 was October 21st, 2015, with it, which is my birthday, and that's coming up pretty soon. That We are in 2015. All right, here's the other one. Where's my damn flying auto cars? Um, <clears throat> there's a, re a couple reasons we don't have it, but we already do have it. One of the reasons we do already have it's called a helicopter. Just because we see it in the movie does not mean the effective real-world manif uh, manifestation or its practical application is hover cars. Um, the technology just isn't there, but we do have things that hover in the air, and they're called helicopters. And if you remember, what was the James Bond film? The one where they go, it's in Japan, and they make James Bond Japanese. It was one of the smarmy, and not smarmy, the schmaltziest scenes. Where he gets like this little, <coughs> excuse me, personal helicopter. Well, we could all have those. Well. Enter in another, and those aren't terribly expensive. Well, enter in another thing, all right? Regulation. Um, the FAA, and I, I'm not saying they're overzealous in their protection. The FAA, you have to admit, the United States has a, an amazing track record with flight. I don't know when the last time we had a crash was. It has got to be two decades. I'd have to talk to my pilot buddies. But air is, um, air flight, uh, flight is, one, is the safest way to travel. And I, I will admit that the government, a lot of people say it's overregulated. Da, 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 da. Well, okay, it's pretty darn safe. And I will tip my hat where I do believe it needs to be tipped, and that is towards the FAA. They, um, uh, they have made things, and, and obviously so. You don't want people falling out of the sky. Uh, now, in part of that, because we have one layer of uh, uh, commercial airlines, and I don't mean to go into a lot of boring detail, then you have like, uh, it's an upside down cake, like layer cake. The closer you are to an airport, the lower your ceiling is, because um, the big planes have to come in and take off. Uh, so the air has got to be, I know you think, oh, it's infinite air. No, you don't want people crashing into each other. And if all of a sudden you throw up, instead of in Minneapolis, what, one million commuters a day, you have a million little planes in the air, that needs some serious regulation. So I, I'm, now as we do drive on roads, I'm sure that we would increase in terms of um, <clears throat> skill and um, what's the word I'm looking for? Proficiency of not flying into one another. Um, but that I could see where the FAA would want to say, "Hey, whoa, whoa, we can't just say, oh, yeah, I go fly a helicopter.' Oh, million, hey, New York, Chicago, fuck yeah, go fly your helicopter around." So there are pretty pretty good rules in place for that. But yeah, if me and now a lot of people are going to say, "Well, you just you're just anti-progress." No, I would love to have everyone have fly their little personal helicopters around. I think it would be we would need to ease and gradually ease into that, kind of like we are now at the beginnings of easing into uh, automated driving cars or self-driving cars. Like what was it Carnegie Mellon and Google are trying to do that? <clears throat> so I think um, you know we just don't 
Hey, everybody's got hel helicopters for me. When I run for president, instead of Obama phones, we're going to have Clary helicopters. And a bunch of people are going to get fucking killed, and they'll all blame me. I'll say, whoa, I just gave you bread and circuses and helicopters. What the fuck? It's your problem. You can't pilot the damn things. All right, now that all the stupider people are gone, let's go. So, um, so there is that. And then, what do I got my notes here? Oh, another thing. Helicopters are expensive. Even those small little dinky ones, they're, they're kind of pricey. I looked into, what was it? Not ultralights, uh, power, powered paragliders. That's like the cheapest way to fly. You just basically strap a big fan onto your back. You have a, a parachute, you catch wind and you run and you hit the thing and you can actually fly. Um, and that, that is the cheapest at like 5,000, but you're not going long distances or going to work with that. Plus you need a place to land and all that. The little personal helicopter, you just like that. Um, and if I, I will admit that there's an element of a lack of economic growth and innovation, like a, a lack of Americanism and in American ingenuity. Uh, people have been, most of our geniuses have been, I wouldn't say channeled, but attracted towards computers and internet technology and um, stuff like that, which has obviously advanced society. I, you know, you could say almost as much as flying helicopters. Flying helicopters would be convenience, uh, being able to communicate with anyone and send data across the world, having the world's knowledge throughout the past 10,000 years of that even of recorded history at the tip of your fingers on your phone. Uh, I think that's actually a bigger economic advancement. But uh, yeah, I do believe there's a, like, if we really wanted to, we could do it. Okay, <clears throat> let me rephrase that. If Americans back in the you know early 1900s wanted to do it, we could do it. But the Americans today are too busy majoring in fluffy bunny studies and chocolates and hate white male studies and all that other kind of stuff that it's, you know, they ain't going to be making the uh, hover car real anytime soon. Anyway, so I'm terribly sorry we don't have hover cars. It's not my fault. Don't don't blame the messenger. But that's kind of why we don't have them as of yet. But, you know, it, it, I wait for those self-driving cars to come along. That I hope to see that in my lifetime because I could just... That would so revolutionize everything. We wouldn't, you wouldn't go to a cube anymore. <laughs> you wouldn't destroy the airline industry. It's like, ah, drive me to California. And then you work on your internet and you write your book. And that's how it would work. Anyway, best of luck to all of you. Toodles.